Hello everyone, welcome back again to Daily Answer Writing Program. In today's question, we are going to write about why did the Industrial Revolution first occurred in England? Discuss the quality of life of the people there during the industrialization. How does it compare with in India at the present? So how can we compare the life of the people of industrialization with the present people of India? This is what we need to do it. See, this is a previous year question. So it's a PYQ. See, every Saturday we keep one question from the mains PYQs. This was asked in 2015 from GS paper 1. See, from 2020 onwards, world history se questions jo hai, wo kam ho ya tha. But still, uh, the concepts like industrial revolution, which are every now and then happen in the newspaper because of fourth industrial revolution and no world war and united nations these concepts may be asked that's the reason why it's better to be prepared for such questions and it is a previous year question so aapko bahut sara der sara material ban banaya milega so you can take the references out of those material but do not copy paste it that's what i have written it here as well say so understand the demand of the question it is a previous year question do not simply copy paste it take the references from whatever the sources that you can find see the question was framed uh, you can talk about the industrialization in uh, no 11th class uh, sorry 10th class book okay uh, contemporary world politics too you can see that in that also there is a chapter industrialization you can refer some of the chapters from some of the content from there or in the internet you can find so much of content so first let us understand the demand of the question so this question can be uh, you can break it into three parts first part is what is industrial revolution so that's what we will be beginning with the introduction because question directly is asking why industrial revolution first occurred in england so to begin with that we won't directly go into why it has uh, no began we will write factors and all no first of all we will begin with what is industrial revolution whatever you understood in your own words please write it you don't have to go by the bookish definition then why did it first occur in england so that's where you divide the factors which are responsible for occurrence of industrial revolution in england first into like geographical factors the geographical advantage that it has the ports okay and the resources that it has like minerals and all then the innovations say during those times there were many innovations were happening like uh, the steam engine the printing press and so many things so that has boosted that industrial production now the goods are produced with, uh, with machinery okay that has given mass productions then another one is the political regions okay so there is a political race so each and every country each and every monarch wants to put their country's suzerainty on the top so that's the reason why even there was political will and they were pushing and they were even funding then there is another one that is economic reasons see england believes in capitalism so that means jitna profits bana sakte hai utna zyada profits banao utna zyada sell karo theek hai consumerism ko promote karo so that is another one like as you are producing more and more goods mass production the production cost will come down and they are sold at a higher uh, higher prices to get more profits theek hai plus one more reason is the colonies theek hai england in its expeditions geographical expeditions and finding of new lands so they colonized them and they made them the importers of their finished goods and exporters of raw material from those colonies so that's how they got uh, cheap raw material and they were also selling those output at a higher cost so these are all the factors which has led to flourishing of industrial revolution first in england now second part of the question that is discuss the quality of the life of people there during the industrialization this is the second side of the industrialization so you can write both positives and negatives of the people see here you have to write it in 250 words three pages you have enough amount of space as well as words so that's where you can write the quality of the life of people quality of people's life you can again divide it into two types on the positive side and on the negative side positive side if you see income levels have increased more and more opportunities are there okay uh, now the people are getting more and more job opportunities okay plus uh, you can see 
the standard of living has increased. Okay, these are all on the positive side. On the negative side, positive side you can put urbanization also positively. And negative side, if you see, there is a growth of slums. Unplanned urbanization is happening, slums. So slums means health issues. There is uh, no uh, spreading of the diseases. At the same time, there is population explosion. As more and more people are needed in the factories, there were more, more, more and more people's reproduction and population was exploding. That increasing population again created poverty and some people were not even having the food, bread to eat. So these are all the horrors of industrial evolution and don't forget the pollution, say the impact of those uh, carbon emissions in those times is still visible nowadays also. Itna jada asar pada hua hai. This is the second portion of this where we will be discussing both positives and negatives. Then there is a third portion to this question as well. What is that third portion? How does it compare with that in India at present? So present times India is also going towards industrialization at a rapid level, urbanization and all. So how can we compare it with that time? See one like you can again say some similarities are there, some differences are there. In similarities wise we are also heavily depending upon fossil fuels as a result carbon emissions are happening. Again population explosion is happening in India, nowadays it has reduced. Okay, this is another similarity with the industrial revolution. Growth of the slums is another one. Yes, we are also facing the same. So these are all some of the similarities. But if we talk differences, ki baat karte hai, the India's industrialization is more planned one. Okay? So initial days mein it was unplanned, but nowadays we have perfect industrial policies and where we are going towards the planned based industrialization. Plus our, our uh, smart cities, smart villages, they are complementing Plus, environmental compensation, say district mineral fund ho sakta hai, minor, mining say, or kampa ho sakta hai, for example, compensatory forestry management fund. Okay, all these are being set up and they are being managed in order to mitigate the bad impacts of such big industries. So, that is another one. So, these are all the positive side, these are all the differences. Earlier, the people did not had knowledge about this climate change and the pollution and all but we have so we are taking those precautionary measures this is how the present times of industrialization in india can be differed from those times Ab conclusion ka baat aata hai. conclusion kis pe likhenge? industrial revolution pe likhenge. of course it has both positives and negatives but positives outweighted the negatives okay as a result it has fast paced manner it has developed and we are presently in the fourth like industrial revolution 4.0 we are in the digital digital level industrial uh, revolution has gone up to that level where we are developing the internet of things artificial intelligence automation and all and it is going to further go in the forward direction so in this positive sense you can conclude it but yaha par ek point jarur bata dijiyega ye jo development hai industrial revolution ka industrial uh, development jo hai, it has to be sustainable and has to be environmental friendly for long term growth and positive impact on the life. Iske saath aap conclude kar do, then the answer is complete. Theke? So, if you wanted to use some examples, you can use it. If you wanted to quote something, you can quote it. Case study, you can put it here. So, use those extra embellishments of your content and finish this answer. Is that clear? So, chalo yahan par wind up kar lete hai. In another session, we will continue it with another question. Till then, take care. You can write these questions and send it to me. I will be putting uh, mail ID in the description or in the comment section. You can send your answers. We will evaluate and give you the feedback. Bye everyone. Take care.